Oh, that's all disgusting. My name is Dan. I am a volunteer at Sunnybrook Community Street. I'm Adrian. I'm Will. I'm also a volunteer here. Cat. I'm a volunteer. Bill. Occasional volunteer. And valued colleague. Yeah. And our, our lovely cameraman Tom, as always. There was a, it was a, there was a six seat, but he refused. So. <laughs> Okay, number 53. 53? Is Baldur's Gate. Baldur's Gate. Yeah, announce it for me, why don't you? <laughs> oh, it's all getting a bit tense now. <laughs> number 53 is a game I know absolutely nothing about. Baldur's Gate. Baldur's Gate. That's right. Baldur's Gate. Baldur's Gate. Good Gate. game. It's a great now game. Now you're, say, you're saying that with some confidence, like you know this game. I do. I haven't played it all the way through. Mm. But yeah, have you played it? Because it's an RPG type. No, it's, oh, it's I'm not one of those RPG on, nerds. Come on, it's, it's based on Dungeons and Dragons rules and True. stuff like that, and it's, it's okay. a really good game. I enjoy it. And it, you pick up party members, and then you can swap. You can only have them. By, yeah, it was good. And it only took twenty six years for the third to come <laughs> out. So progress. Yeah, it's good. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm told three is outstanding. I haven't played it, but I have heard it's very good. Let's go get them. On the comments here, it's sublime even today. Nothing has come close since, oh. despite trying. Well, there you go. Ooh. Yeah, just oh. made a fail after that. All right, well. Right, moving swiftly on. Oh. Number 52 is Quake. Should be higher. Should, should be, be higher, higher, should it? Yeah. Absolutely. I never played it. My dad played it for hours. It was amazing. Wow. The mod scene was so good. I spent far more time on Quake too. So I really hope that's on this list somewhere, <laughs> or again. We'll be disappointed. Wait, too, It'll be a different placard down in Bournemouth, but... Mm. <laughs> it didn't innovate the, the genre at all. Well, what did you do in Quake 2? You wandered around a bit. Yeah. No it was, point it was, to it. Was it was an incremental improvement. Yeah, all right. I love, I love the guys, but Quake 2 was a bit of a disaster. I'm on right. that note. <laughs> oh, you're Next. looking deep in thought there, Adrian. No, you should move on quickly. Yeah, okay, okay. <laughs> number 51, Sonic Adventure. I've never played a 3D and, uh, Sonic game. Sonic Adventure is amazing. Amazing. Flagship for the Dreamcast. Amazing. It was amazing in 98, but it hasn't aged at all. No, it hasn't. But it's beautiful. I remember you play the game, level one, Sunset Beach, whatever the hell it's called. Um, the Orca smashes through the pier and chases you. You know, it goes over you. This is amazing. So you call your friends. Come round, I've got a Dreamcast, come see this, it's amazing. And you play it and your friend goes, this is, a, this is amazing, this is the future. And they were right, Sonic Adventure is amazing. And then 15 minutes later they go, God, ain't the camera rubbish. <laughs> <laughs> no, he's got good, get, get good scrub. It's like the kids say. in the movie. <laughs> it's, it's, is that like you're in the movie? Right. <gasps> now we're on number 50, which means I now have to eat this retro monster jelly. I sweet. have eaten one and they're god awful. I have oh, to say, yeah, at they first... always are. <laughs> That's why they were needed. <laughs> at first glance, this page is banging. This from 50 onwards, so the first 50 have been a bit met, to be honest with you. But we've got some. Which is, isn't what you'd expect from a um, 100 greatest. No. Um. um yeah, we, we, we've got to talk about this because there's a lot of omissions here, but we've got a couple of things that we were worried about have appeared, so that's okay, that's all right, interesting. Uh, Phil? Number 50, Wipeout. Wipe so 3 out. 1995. Mm. It's a PlayStation racing game. <laughs> I've never played it. I no. <laughs> hated it at the time. I like the music. So did I. But uh, over the years, I've realised it is an absolute gem and a complete masterpiece. What? But at the time, I, I was ping pong off the bloody walls. Yeah. I just couldn't get my head around it at that time. But now I'm like, oh yeah, no, this is... I mean, it took it took playing like 2097 on the Vita to fully appreciate Wipeout. Then going back to play the originals, was like, yeah, no, actually, this is this is art. It looks like, <laughs> from the picture, yeah. like a 3D version of like F-Zero or something. Exactly that. Yeah. Exactly that. Yeah. 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 That's, it took a lot of cues from that. Um, yeah, but it's, it's pretty flawless. Speaking of flawless, Outrun 2. Oh, Ooh. sweet baby Jesus and the orphans. That one too was very good. It's very Flippity good. Flippity gibbet. It should be in the top 10. At 49, it's far too... Outrun 2 is perfect. Especially there is... Any change you'd make would be a detriment, which is what you found out when Coast to Coast and all the other stuff came out. Yeah. Outrun 2, flawless. Yeah, especially if you can find a big eight-player arcade machine yeah. with, the, with the big uh, Ferrari oh, cars in mercy. it and everything. Um, yeah. A really good game. It's you know it's not like a realistic driving range. It's an arcade game in it, but um, it's literally it's perfect. Um, excellent on the Xbox as mm. well. Um, mm. 
you know, same hardware exactly, pretty much as the as the out as the arcade, yeah. or less memory on the original Xbox. So yeah, um, fantastic game. We Good used boy. to have the arcade machine here. We did. Well, it used to be it, mine. <laughs> and it died. It died a death. Let's oh. have a moment of silence. No. Clock's, clock's ticking. All right, you're up. No time for that. And number no, 48. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Silent Hill 2, never played it. <laughs> oh, no way. <laughs> no, no, never played it. So yeah. I played, what's the one on the PlayStation Vita? Um, yeah, PlayStation Vita. No, not Vita. PSP. There's yeah. a Silent Hill Mem- game on that. Shattered Memories, and that was the no. Wii one. No, I'm thinking the Siphon Filter ignored me completely. That was rubbish. Oh, Silent Hill 2 was one of the oh, three best Silent Hill games. Right. One, two, and... Anyone else played it? Uh, two, I couldn't three, tolerate Silent Hill 1, so I went no three. further. I'm not playing any more <laughs> no. of this stuff. <laughs> I got slammed. Just oh, too much to It got slammed by 30-year-old blokes. But we're... No, we're not. Not any more no. If you go into it expecting the story of a 15-year-old in the Silent Hill that okay. franchise, it's absolutely great. All right, I'll check it out. I'm oh, sorry. We... Have you finished talking about Silent Hill? Yeah, yeah. Okay, we'll move on to number 47 then, which is Grand Theft Auto Vice City. Never the played it. The best one. Oh, oh, good. This is Why the best one. do this, but all the really good ones. Yeah, this yeah. is weird. You've played none of the good games. <laughs> this is quite, quite concerning. I never played the 2D GTAs. I played GTA 3, which mm. blew my mind. Yeah. And then Vice City. And then San Andreas just wouldn't work on my computer, so I never played another one ever again. Uh. I've got San Andreas, it's overrated. It's too, too much. It's, Vice City is absolutely perfect, pitch perfect. It is. It's just big enough to be yeah. explorable without being rambling. Doesn't overstay its welcome either, the main storyline. It's great, it's great. I love it, love it, love it, love it. Awesome soundtrack. Yeah, good. Bit low. Like Chinatown Wars. Chinatown Wars is alright. I got that, yeah, on the DS. Yes. DS or yeah. PSP? Uh, probably both, both. Yeah. yeah. Never played it. I blew, <coughs> blew up an ambulance. What, my <laughs> that's your memory of it, yeah. yeah. And then you played the game. Yeah. Next up. Phil. Next no, no, no. Sorry. Sorry. Number 46, Super Mario Brothers 3. How cool. No? Yeah, no, perfect. It's, it's amazing. Amazing. Oh, no, Phil's not. Who's not impressed. Right, well, ignore Phil. <laughs> <laughs> Who's not played Super Mario Brothers 3? Me. Oh, what a chomp. I, I, I started playing, I picked up the controller, and then I just put it down because I don't really care about Mario okay. in the 2D yeah. world. Right, ignore Phil. Yeah, oh. um, moving on. I'll, I'll we just it. cut him, edit him out at the end there. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I, th- I think they stuck some extra chips and stuff in it, didn't they, to yeah, cause make the it? Yeah, because the SNES was cr- criminally underpowered. No. Or even the NES. Even, even the NES, was it? Mm. Yeah. 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 Well, there you go. So, um, yeah, he could fly this time and do all kinds of other things. It was just, I just found it a lot more fun than the others. I mean, Super Mario Brothers 2, Mm. The Japanese one is just absurdly difficult. <laughs> we right there. There's a start yeah. Carry on. Yeah. See you. Nothing to see here. <laughs> so yeah, we we got a game called Doki Doki Panic or something, didn't yeah. we? Instead for so Mario Brothers Two, I didn't enjoy two at all, no, or the European one. That, no. no. Um, and this was just a total like return to form. And, yeah. um, Pretty amazing. Yeah. Uh, I think forty six is a bit too Seems low for us. I think Seems it's low. too low. Yeah. yeah. Absolutely. Um, I'm going to get crucified on the next one. Who, whose turn is it? Uh, 45. <laughs> yeah. That's Pokemon Red slash Blue, which I think is actually two games. Yes, that's right. And so shouldn't be in here at all. That's true, I agree. Also, in 96, that was, the, that was Japan release. It didn't come out here till like 99. It came really late here, right? I mean, it kicked off the franchise, I guess. Yeah. And apparently the red and blue are the buggiest in the series, just because they had to cram so much into the cards. I got blue, it's awesome. Um, this is why I might get a bit crucified here. Mm-hmm. I've never played a Pokemon game, apart from Pokemon no. Tetris so on the Pokemon game Tetris. on the um, mm-hmm. on the mini. That's on the little. Is it Tetris where the Pokemon mini bits are shaped like Pokemons? Pokemon no, that's no. Pokemon. Pokemon's. It's on the Pokemon mini, the tiniest console ever made. Oh. And if you don't like the direction your pieces, you can shake it and it turns the piece around. It's really really good, but that's the only Pokemon game. I've ever extensively played. I po- played Pokemon Snap for a little while, but no. So no, apparently, I'm missing. I'm supposed to be missing a lot with Pokemon, but um, the early ones are rubbish now. Yeah. Oh my God, we've got a 16-bit. I know. Finally, at long last. I wonder if we were going to get any, but here we are. Swass. Your Swass. Who's guys now? You. Me? No, it's not me. I literally just said Pokemon. Did you? Swat! <laughs> now, I hate football. It's for the proletariat. Let them have their sport. 
But um, SWAS is actually all right. I don't Sensible mind. Sensible World of Soccer. That's right. Yeah. Sensible World of Soccer is actually all right. It's actually very fun. I play with my brother a lot. My brother is into football because he's a bit of a pro. Um, and um, yeah, no, I loved it. Uh, there's two two football games I've, I've enjoyed in my gaming career. One is Central World of Soccer. Or Central Soccer, as it was prior to that. And International Superstar Soccer on the N64, which will not be in this list, but isn't absolutely... Is this the first Amiga game we've had in the list? Yeah. Is it possible that the remaining 43 are all Amiga games? Yes. No. Definitely sure. I mean, the next page is like, <laughs> it's all over hits. But yeah, uh, that's a, a very good game. Great, you can make... It's still going now. People still make level packs for it. And people make, like, update the team rosters. You can, it's still playable. Level packs for a football game? Yeah, because they, they update the team names of, like, real oh, world right. players. It's not like you get circular pictures or something in the new season. <laughs> Number 43, Sonic the Hedgehog 2. I'm Released on Sonic this one. Tuesday. <laughs> this is a bit of a... Oh, this is a bold choice, because a lot of people have an intense dislike for the sequel. I don't yeah. like it. Oh, I liked it. Uh, I, I loved like this it. one. It took the momentum-based gameplay of the first and extended it into blazing fast. And two-player. Oh, the split screen. Yeah. That, was, that was pretty much never been re-implemented, yep. has it? Mm. It was like one of the first games I could play to play with my sister. One of the only games to use the Mega Drive's double interlace mode. I think it was an amazing gameplay. Oh, I liked it. Thing I is, will defend this one. And knowing Sonic Tuesday is actually important because that date is the numbers you play in the sound test to get Super Sonic on the cheats. Oh. Level select is um, Yuji Naka's birthday. Mm. The trouble is, for me, I found the first game so magical. Okay. And just so exhilarating and all the rest of it. The second one was just... Two was my first experience with them. I started at two. And I was like, this is pretty friggin' amazing. Special stages work hard as balls. Mm. That put me up a bit. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, mixed bag there. So, cool. love it. I mean, I don't hate it by any means, but... Mm. Uh, uh, yeah, you got this. Uh, probably because I never played it split screen. Mm. Might have been... Yeah, you missed it. So, it was friends. confusing split screen though, because sometimes you start staring at them on the screen. <laughs> <laughs> As a constant choice of any game like that. Swap you over. Mm. Right, number oh. 42, Castlevania Symphony of the Night. Banger. Absolutely, Absolutely god tier of a yeah. game. Mm -hmm. Too low, should be a top 20. Yeah. It's one of those things, it Crazy. was largely ignored at the time because everything yeah. had to be 3D. Yeah, I remember uh, one of the places in Mags gave it 4 out of 10 oh. for that exact reason. 4 out of 10, it looks like a, it looks like a SNES game. That was it. Didn't get past it's it. Just absolute nonsense. 4 out of 10. It's absolutely absolute amazing plums. game. Um, I love the Castlevania series. Probably, yep. probably even though it's a bit too easy, I love uh, Castlevania 4. Mm -hmm. um, but this was just everything on the, on the next level. Mm. And I bought two copies of it at the time because I had a feeling it might become valuable. Mm. So £29.99, two copies of it. Waited about eight years, sold it for about 110 I think. Wow, You've got nice. four now. And then kept the other one, which yeah. I still own. But yeah, I remember that skull. Yeah. Um, That's definitely the beginning, it takes all your stuff. Yeah. I mean, it must have been a bold release by Konami at that, age, that time. Yeah, for sure. Put it out, you know. Yeah. It, in this 3D area, they must have known what was going to the reception was going to be. God damn, it's yeah. good. I bet well, a game that's not going to be on this list is going to be Castlevania on the N64, the 3D one. Uh, Number 41. I have never played this. Manic Miner. Get out, there and, get out of the main gallery. It's, yeah, it's, it's on every time you come here, it's playing in the main gallery. It's in the corner, Cam. <laughs> <laughs> Matthew Smith's Manic Miner on the spectrum. Um, what can we say? It's unfair and broken. Yeah. Very difficult. Yes, but it's good. But it remains iconic, doesn't it? Especially it really on the Spectrum, era, Spectrum era. Um yeah. It's vibrant and uh, wacky, and uh, and you can never forget that intro tune that he played as well. Mm. <laughs> mm. Nancy. Um, yeah, I mean, it is a it is a classic game. Mm. Yeah. Um, oh, I can't stand Jet Set Willy though. <laughs> really can't. Fair. Um, but. Um, yeah, no, I, th I think it's about all we can say about it. Yeah, like, it's the kind of game I've there. played a lot, a time. For, for, just for you know, for like five or ten minutes and play yeah, a few screens, exactly. and, then and then never then... sat down and played it in like from start to finish. Mm -hmm. But you know, number forty, in Space Harrier. Yeah, boy, Yu Suzuki's friggin' finest. One of the great scalar games from the arcades. Reasonable port to the Mega Drive, terrible port to the Master System. Was it, it, it was didn't a do badly on the host machines. Actually, yeah. it, it produced a the Master System three D version, absolutely dire. Yeah. Mm. Um, Amazing soundtrack. I, loved, I did love oh the Spectrum God. version. Yeah. Um, and obviously, if you could find a big uh, 
sit down arcade machine, even better. Mm. Similar hardware to like Afterburner and things like that. Wait, so they ported it to the Spectrum. They ported it to everything. Everything. <laughs> I've got the Amstrad version, it's amazing. Even the Game Gear. Bloody hell. Just, um... Bloody hell indeed. Yeah. Um, I mean, mm. does it belong at number 40 in this list? No. That way, I yeah, would say. say. I mean, I do love it, but yeah. Right. Number 39, uh, Final Fantasy VIII, or whatever, I didn't play this one. Who loves Final Fantasy series? Six is amazing. <laughs> Six is legitimately fantastic. Um, uh, okay. Why? No, that's fine. Yeah, it's... that's right. It's a fact. Um, Seven's all right. Blinking RPG thing, isn't it? Yeah, so... there's a lot of. This is RPG. Well, there's two on this page. But there's, there's three on this page. <laughs> so radical. Well, technically four on this page. And this was, I suppose, the difficulty with the top 100. I like more action type games. Yeah. yeah. So this. This top 100 for me so far largely sucks. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry it does, because I don't like this type of game. Okay, whoever judged this. I'm working on a couple of theories about this. We'll talk about the end, but there's a couple of reasons yeah, yeah, that yeah. Th these, these games are appearing. And it's, yeah, it's, uh, we'll come back to this. But anyway, Final Fantasy VIII, whatever. Yeah, it's not seven, therefore it's not six, and therefore no one cares. But I understand people really like it. It's got a quality uh, conspiracy theory about the game, though. Like, he's dead the whole time. But that's... For, no, not dead the whole time. After disc one, he's dead. Mm. So now, number 38. Now, this is a proper game. How do you say it? Do as X. Deus. 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 Oh, I've been saying it all for years, then. Deus X, I'm going to sound like I know what I'm talking about. Um, yeah, who, who loves this game and what... I do quite enjoy kind of great game, it's is it? It's pretty bloody no, it's good. it's not something I've played. I played the Wii U one. Is that anything like this? No, no. Okay, no. This is like it's like it was a term an immersive sim. Like yeah. you can do. You, you, you've, you've got you've got a goal to achieve. You go and kill this guy. Then you don't have to do that. But you've got infinite ways of doing it. You could go in there, all guns blazing. You can be stealthy. You can hack your way. You can engineer your way. And the setting is really interesting. It's yeah. like, What if the conspiracy theory was true? Mm. Which one? All of them. Mm. Majestic Twelve, Grey Aliens, CIA, Men in Black. It's a proper good game. It's really, really, really good. And in a bizarre coincidence, the World Trade Center is missing from the New York skyline. Oh. oh. See, head of a sign. Yeah. <laughs> Texture limitations, I think, but probably. But yeah, no, it's flawless. Again, it, 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 it's first of that kind, really, to you, absolute freedom in the way you achieve your goals. It's great. Yeah, you can go in guns blazing, you yeah. can be stealthy. You can... It, felt, like, it felt like a larger world than it really was. Crap sequels. I mean, the sequels were intended for the consoles, weren't Invisible they? Invisible War was dire. You were like a 12-year-old, like, with, a, like, frosted tips and stuff. It's like really yeah. weird. Anyway. Mean, memory limitations made, again, it felt so small. Yeah, you were, you were very limited. Anyway, and it was more of a straight-out shooter. Uh, Sorry. SX should be higher. Yeah, it should be. Sorry. Well, should it be higher than it's number 37, which is Streets of Rage 2. This, oh, mercy me. Mm. This game is absolutely <laughs> top draw. Mm. The best scrolling beat em up Anywhere ever, yeah, well, that's fair. Alty Force, Who, the soundtrack. What's everyone's favorite character? Who do you fight with? <laughs> Axel, Room, <laughs> not really. Um, <laughs> uh, uh, huh? oh, that's in the second. No, it's the second one you can play. You can yeah. play as a kangaroo, yeah. Yeah, you can do. Um, I, I always no, play as Blaze. Blaze is Blaze is good because he's fast and got the reach. Yeah. I want to play as Axel because main character, but it's hard. Yeah. He's not got the reach. But I always feel duty bound. But if you want to, like, playing as Blaze is like easy mode. She's very fast. Yes, absolutely. I find it. So, yeah, yeah, the Streets of Rage 2, yeah, what can you say? One of the finest. It's amazing. Beat maps, like, ever. I, and again, I think should probably be a lot higher than 37 in my old Yeah, I agree. On. Yeah, I played them all, through them all in, in sequence quite recently. And, um, yeah, the third one's a bit rubbish. But Fourth is four is really good, by the way. Four is way better than there's any right to be. I need Max, to go back no, to that because I've played you dance, really do. got that on the Switch, but really easy that as well. well. It made me feel great. Because two and three kicked my ass, but four, Steam World. Number 36, World of Warcraft. Has wow. anyone else played this? No, but I was wondering if we get to see any of the massively multiplayer RPGs okay. on here. Yeah. Why has anyone just played this? I knew going into it that if I started oh, playing wow. it, I'd end up. <laughs> Naked, covered in my own filth, 12 weeks later. Well, did it anyway. Oh, ah, oh, that's it not actually why I 
had to stop it because I didn't end up naked, covered in my own filth. But I was finding I was still playing online at three o'clock in the morning, knowing I had to be awake at six o'clock in the morning to get back to work. So <laughs> I had to just go on hiatus, and I've never gone back. Mm, <laughs> go cold turkey on that yeah. one, yeah. Well, yeah. It feels That's like years ago. I, it's, I mean, it's two thousand and four. <laughs> Does it? Is anyone else thinking this is amazing? This is twenty years old. Well, they remastered yeah. it, didn't they? Yeah. Yeah. It was a dire. It feels like it's never died. Yeah, you know, they got yeah. slammed. It was absolutely abysmal, apparently. Yeah. yeah. Oh, you've just got to take everything you've got and... But no, they can't, can they? They put loads of grindy and buy things and it was, it was not good. Yeah. All right, next up. Asteroids. Atari from 1979. We're a bit golden era here, aren't we? Mm. It's a classic game. Yeah, it says it says there. It says first vector game. Um, yeah, I mean, it was a huge hit, wasn't it? They must have sold thousands of them. Um, I mean, have played it on the cocktail cap with the vector monitor yeah. and that's mm. actually really good fun mm. all the console ports seem a little bit crap up to that. yeah it feels like you need to play it on an original sh machine with a vector display I um, mean obviously if you've got a Victrex you can play it on that um, <laughs> mine out as yeah. it's called isn't it? um, yes, the built in game but uh, there is a um, there is a cart where you can play um, arcade ROMs and stuff on the Vectrex screen, so if you're mm. into fiddling with things like that, you can play it there. I mean, yeah, it's a, it's a classic game, isn't it? Um, there's not much more to say about it, really. It's up there with uh, Space Invaders and Gallagher and things like that, isn't it? Mm. Mm. Who's up? Yeah, it's me again! I'm never paying attention. I'm so... I'm just so I know! I'm just, I'm just, just loving what you guys are saying. I'm just like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, shit, I've got to do stuff. Um, all right, so 34. It is Final Fantasy Seven. It's all right. I bought a PlayStation 2 to play this game. I like, finished the first disc and I was like, this game is really freaking long. Mm. And that's it, I played Siphon Filter again instead. Siphon Filter, greater than uh, Final Fantasy VII. I can't get excited about Final Fantasy games. Though. Also, don't get me started on the remake. God, that's dull. Sorry, I'm not, I know people love it, including some people who got work in here, but the, 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 the remake is just so linear. It's, it was extraordinary. I thought, you know, I, I, I played, I put my, my, sorry, Side is, um, I finished like Persona Five a few weeks before, and then you go and play Final Fantasy Seven, and Persona Five is infinitely better than Final Fantasy Seven Remake. That's it. Finish. Next, number thirty-three. This yeah. probably be higher up. Lemmings. Mm. Yeah. Why is this not higher? Did yeah. Design Psygnosis, nineteen ninety-one. The whole reason oh. I. Basically bought a PC. Mm. Yeah. Um, Isn't this the game that we had someone do a talk on this and there yes. was yeah. a whole different sound system built into it that you had to have a or a sound file built into this that you Probably. had to have a different sound system for? Yeah, but or a it sound was card, just maybe. Yeah. blew the sound away. Oh yeah, probably. Anyway, yeah. I mean for me this was on an Amiga games playing mm. many hours burnt playing this. Mm. So yeah. I expect many people the same, but you know, it's equally as good on Guitar ST and uh, you know there was yeah. half decent versions coming out for um, eight bits as well, wasn't there? Mm. Yeah. Although for me it was better with a mouse, but <laughs> mm. yeah. I think it's the longest cassette tape I have on Spectrum. <laughs> it's about three miles long. Um, absolutely huge, and only fourteen lemmings on screen though. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, otherwise, the poor old Specky started to suffer a little bit. I've also got a cracking version on the Atari Lynx. You okay. and your links. I do love the Atari links. What can I say? How we talked about the Game Boy version? For the, um, it's awesome. Sam Coupe yeah. as well, wasn't it? Mm. Sam Coupe one, yeah, yeah absolutely. Yeah. Wow. So, yeah, oh, Lemmings, absolute classic. What yeah. can you say? Yeah, that's yeah. fair. Probably a bit too Rescue as many of the little critters as possible. Yeah. Um, I'd I probably push it further. Uh, further up, yeah, way yeah, further yeah, up. Yeah, personally, um, but for me. I will just quickly say as well, Lemmings 2, massive disappointment. Everyone says that. Mm. I haven't played it. Mm. I played it. It was odd. Oh. You, you had to take a much more active role in the lemmings. Like yeah. Pushing around and they're like very, 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 very specific. Like you can only use this once in like 20 levels. There's one lemming that you can, you know. Yeah. Anyway. Next. Right, next, number 32 is Atari's Gauntlet. Um, I like this. Bigger old dungeon crawler. Um, much better with your mates, I think. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah, 100%. Yeah, this was a game I used to play on Commodore 64 with a friend um, back in the day. But yeah, also a big arcade machine with four joysticks. Um, could get a bit repetitive, probably, on mm. your own. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. As my mate used to come around and we'd play Gauntlet and my spectrum was slightly faulty. So I used to say to him, don't press the buttons too hard or it will crash. <laughs> <laughs> and we'd get a couple of dungeons in and all it just crashes. Mm. And um, we weren't quite as good friends after, <laughs> after Gauntlet, actually. Falling out. Said. 
Yeah, a little bit. It was. Um, you know, I just think he was doing it deliberately. But um, troll all all. Yeah, mm. uh, I could have just say punched him in the face. Well, I could have just used the keyboard on the odd occasion to see if it was him, but I <laughs> hung on to the joystick. Right. Yep. Moving on. Number thirty-one. You are very honoured to introduce this one. Okay, Defender. Oh. Nineteen eighty-one. Mm. Bi-directional like yeah. scrolling. Yeah, we've already had a, 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 co- a computer remake. Of the exact this, same game, yeah. Um, with same game. Um, this was the original, so it deserves to be higher. True, it does. Um, for my own part, I used to play this a lot on the Spectrum conversion, and then when I actually played the arcade machine, I couldn't get on with the controls because there's a lot of there's, there's just like left and right buttons and then a joystick for up and down and stuff. There's not a jo- one joystick. Uh, so you kind of have to get used to these um, oh, wow. more unique controls on, a, on the arcade machine. It's a bit weird. It didn't just put a joystick in for all the directions and stuff. I would, so. just, I would just say as well, Defender on the Atari 8-bit. Yeah. With its <laughs> tune at the start. Just absolutely amazing. It's yeah. a brilliant conversion. Basically, the reason I have an Atari 8-bit is so... I've got a Defender cartridge and... You just leave that in there. Leave it in there. <laughs> yeah. Um, Cracking. Right, number 30 then. Number 30. Okay. Half-Life no 2. It was stunning at the time. Like yeah, you don't like it now. I, I like it. Mm-hmm. But a lot of what it's done has become old hat, given the current proper modern games. And it's like watching Alien as, Wait, what? as, a, as a modern kid. Are you playing the right game here? We're about to kick <laughs> off. Everything it, it does... You've seen before in later people who have copied the original, and it just fall, falls a bit flat there. What the hell was in that carbonara pizza? <laughs> <laughs> it was a good, great game. I loved it. Besides mushrooms on it, <laughs> but it hasn't aged well. All right. Well, for my part, the story was amazing. Like really, it. really immersive story. The some of the set pieces. Yeah. Oh. So being attacked no, by the big. No, that is generally got them. Being attacked by the big striders yeah. and. Um, the helicopter gunship when you're going along the canal as well was um, pretty special. Um, so that's in the episode, was that in episode one or two? Or was that the in the main really, game? No, that was in the main game, wasn't they've, it? They've done it in every single game, mm. though. But the thing is, I at the time refused to pay for Steam or install Steam on my PC because mm. it was the first release on Steam, I think, wasn't it? it was only one so sure. I basically, I waited until it appeared on the Xbox. Yeah, that was alright. And my god, how the hell Valve squeezed yeah. that game onto the Xbox is absolutely... Like the original crazy. Xbox. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And you did scale down really well to low-end hardware. Mm. And, um, yeah, it played really well on that. No multiplayer, of course, but... Um, no, absolutely love... Half-Life 2, for me, would be top five. Oh, wow. Bloody it hell. really would. Bold. Um, also, it says here, it's considered one of the forefathers of the thinking man shooter. Um... Wasn't that exactly the phrase they used? So to it took the it took one? everything that made the original great and turned it up to amazing, but we haven't seen the first game before <laughs> it, which mm. sort of implies the first game should be. It should be number one. Maybe it is. Yeah, mm. maybe. Yeah, but the but they're saying everything's ramped up in Half Life Two. Yeah. But yeah, it's, but clearly it's, it it wasn't because it's down at thirty. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, well that that's our point. Well, don't yeah. they? You know, that's the statement they made. It's more amazing. And, Yes, it's not there. Anyway, Dan. I'm bored now. Number Moving 29 on. is my second favourite game of all time. It's Super Metroid. Metroid. It's Metroid, but super. It's brilliant. It's bloody perfect. Amazing atmosphere. Amazing soundtrack. You can speed run it. It's really... Uh, like, I, I, this is the only game I know how to speed run. I can play it. I can finish it in one sitting. And um, I've watched him do it several yeah, times. I love it. I love it. Whenever there's a... Whenever there was a kid's party here and I was bored, mm-hmm. I'd be on the front desk playing, just speedrunning Super Metroid. It's the best. Kids were running around on fire. Yeah, I couldn't care less. Burn, burn, burn Frankie, burn. Mm-hmm. I'm at bloody Craid. Um, yeah, flawless, uh, amazing soundtrack. Um, yeah, apparently, it turns out uh, it was thrown together at the last minute. Apparently, it was, they had lots of trouble making it, and last minute they kind of saw it together, shut out the door, and it's amazing. It's amazing. Uh, you won't see your top game here, will you? Because Hello Kitty is not that <laughs> well known. Well, I don't know. So, uh, well, it could be, but. Um, who knows? Spoilers, none. Right. Oh, so number, 20, long metal number 28, Pong. Oh, get out. Get in the bin. Now, the thing is, I do I do love our Pong console out there, but the bin and time one, has anyone actually played the 1972 yep. Pong? At that same um, exhibition yeah, I went because, to, yeah. Um, 
if you travel down to Stroud and the Arcade Archive, they do have one of those in there. On their way. Thing there. So on the links cool. online, but they'd have their original machine there. So, um, but yeah, you need a friend, yeah. otherwise. Uh, Otherwise, you're playing with your own knobs. Oh, um, so <laughs> hey, um, hey. It's like that. Um, but I do find the Benetone ones are ones I like it far more fun than the. <laughs> yeah, the um, yeah. There's nice. probably many, many more people played on a Benetone oh, or a Pong console yeah. at home than they did uh, um, than they did uh, on an original. Especially in this country, I don't know how many of the original machines made it to this country, but um, I've never seen one. Yet. Yeah, um, I mean, it's quite likely that any in this country are maybe individually imported. So. But yeah, it's a classic game, isn't it? I don't know, isn't it? it spawned many uh, variations on Benetton consoles and VCS games and all similar sorts of things, isn't it? So, um, it's pretty good. Yeah. But 28, get in the bin. Right, 27, a Resident Evil. Oh, this isn't ridiculous. Sorry. I know, it, it, yeah. Well, let's, let's talk about them both, because they're next to each other. Yeah. 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 This is true. Twenty six. But is, again, we've had three yeah. now. So, uh, so three percent of this list so far has been bloody Resident Evil. Don't do that. <laughs> Just don't. Why? Just have a, the best one, which is four. Yeah, the four. Yeah. And then exactly. then the rest off. Uh, um, yes, it's, it's, it's they're correct in saying it's not fair to call it the uh, original survival horror. No. Because um, I was only playing Alone in the Dark the other day. Um, <laughs> oh, but uh, <laughs> behave. <laughs> God damn that game. Um, but uh, yeah, probably. Had some enhancements on that game. Uh, again, four original is original survival horror, 3D monster maze on the ZX81. Oh yeah, true. Yeah. Hey. And uh, then, yeah, so Resident Evil Four, just um, the only one that should probably be there. It's perfect. Yeah. Floor is four is again amazing, and it's, yeah, it's flawed, but that fours are what make it completely genius. Four is perfect. I haven't, I haven't played the remake. I've got it. It's on my to playlist, but um, oh yeah, I loved it. And of course, the best version of Resident Evil Four is the. Um, we were. We indeed, mon frere. Why? Because you could run and shoot. It's yeah. amazing. It's 95% brown. <laughs> <laughs> 95? I think that was a remake of it. It's not Commodore 64. It's, it's staggeringly brown. It's, it's utterly, utterly amazing. Crazy 4. Best game in the series. So if you hadn't played any Resident Evil, go and play 4 on the Wii. Right now. Okay. Yeah. And it's about 2. You can buy a Wii for 8 quid, buy the game for 2. For a tenner, mm-hmm. you've got the best gaming experience probably of your life. It's amazing. Yeah. There you go. Perfect. We skipped to yeah. number 25. Yeah. The Secret of Monkey Island. That is an awesome game. Yeah. So good. And that's the one you had playing on that monitor. Yeah, we did. We yeah. did have that playing. Mm. Yeah. Secret Monkey Island. Learn how to fight like a dairy farmer. Um, <laughs> you fought like a cow. <laughs> yeah. So good. So, so good. Has anyone played the new one, the most recent one? I keep wanting to uh, No. I'm too cheap. No, no. Parents really good. Parents good. Yeah, yeah. But, uh, yeah. I mean, there's always sorts of criticisms of the new one, but... I think that's just people spinning yeah. ears and stuff. So, but yeah, it's a it's a great game. It had fantastic humour, doesn't it? And uh, so good, um, so good. You know, and many of the puzzles in there, uh, you know, are, are really good. You know, excellent puzzle Has, sort of things. I've not played the actual Amiga. I played on the PC. I've not played the Amiga version. Yeah. I, I've never yeah. bothered. I yeah. went straight to PC. Yeah, played it on the yeah. Amiga. Nice. Um, not many disc swapping if you're doing it in the classic way. Jeez but um, better these days if you've got some sort of hard drive thing. Yeah. Groovy. Um, but yeah. I um, don't think there was ever a, a talky version of this one. But, uh, but that, there was that awful remake with the hideous art they made back in 2013, 14? Mm. And they added talkies to that. Yeah. But yeah, the original didn't have. Two did. That's all right. Yeah. You don't need talkies. It's me now. I'm fairly sure it's me because I was about to ask who's it next. So that must mean it's me. <laughs> <laughs> and it's Grand Theft Auto 3, 3, which is also really, really, really good. It was. Yeah. Well, I'm not to hurt you. I love you. Don't get me wrong. <laughs> No, agree with it. Okay. But it still is. No, it is. It's well, immensely is, playable. It's the first 3D one, right? Yeah. The first yeah. GTA game I ever played. It had that very big fold out map because yeah. there wasn't an in game one for whatever reason. Yeah. I remember. Oh my god, it's so good. It, and people. Um, sorry, people complain about it. <laughs> um, but, um, you know, oh, it's great. And I, it's just seeing this now as the travesty of the, um, the remake, the remaster that came out two years ago. Mm. Oh. That because the cars all change size, an utter broken that. mess. It was like they, they ported the Android version to modern consoles. Good <laughs> job, 10 out of 10. Never let those dicks near a game again. I hope they're all dead. Um, was it Grand Theft Auto 3 yeah. where you picked up a gangland's boss's car from outside a restaurant? Yeah, mm. yeah, you did. You put one minute, drive it back. Yeah, minute, drive it back. You have yeah. to put it exactly where it was, yeah. make sure it's not damaged. Yeah. That's like mission number three. It was quite early on. Yeah, hell so. of a game. 
Yeah. Right, so on, on the Xbox, best version, you can have your own CDs. You can have your own music, custom soundtracks. Oh, uh, okay. It's amazing. You can install a CD to a hard drive and then stream it. It's amazing. It so also you'd... had mm. the in-car radio, the mm. reggae dub station, Gar Radio. <laughs> right. It was the complete soundtrack from scientist dubs culture into the world. And he got no royalties for it because oh. the courts ruled that that was all based off sampling. Oh, oh no way. Up, and he got no money for it. Oof. Unlucky, Chuggy. Painful. But he got I, me into that particular music genre. I've now got the great pleasure of announcing one of my favourite games of all time. Oh, Number 23, Halo Combat Evolved. The game that single-handedly saved, saved the Microsoft Xbox. Yeah. And the Xbox's backside. No Halo, there'd be no Xbox right now. So, great story. Discussion over. Love the story. Um, mm. The reveal halfway through, get the old flood. The horrible little aliens. As if the other aliens weren't bad enough. You unleash something even worse. Mm. Yeah, it's proper good. It's amazing. Getting a, the vehicles. Mm -hmm. Flying vehicles. Yeah. All the rest of it. Can't say too many superlatives about it. No. It's, it's I had no interest in the Xbox until one yeah. of my mates bought his around my house. Mm. Mm. And so we spent the whole day playing Halo in cooperative mode. Mm. Awesome. Split screen. Yeah, it's pretty, pretty special. Little set pieces, so going to like the little fortress and I ran up on top of the hill with a sniper rifle and started taking out the enemy whilst he stormed it. Mm. Oh, absolutely awesome. Great. So all you've seen is golden eye. It's probably quite impressive. Yeah. Mm. Fucking someone's getting glass. <laughs> yeah. um, he won't make it home. Really good. Uh, yeah, so we've got Halo 1, amazing. Halo 2, yeah. Bit uh, short. Halo 3 was. 3. Whoa. ODST. Uh, yeah. I liked ODST. Dog eggs. No, ODST's amazing. Yeah. Reach is good, and then after that, uh, it's all been since then. Halo 4 was. I mean, it, there's oh, three terrible. Sexy was starting to really creak so by then. Hey, but. I I loved Halo Five. I've got to oh, say I did. I did. I did. It was it was stupid. It was so it's dumb. So dumb. Yeah. yeah, I was loving it. It's like a B movie. It, this, you like you're playing going. This is so <laughs> wrong. This is so badly put together. I'm frigging loving this. Why can't I jump 95 feet in the air at 200 miles an hour? This is fucking brilliant. Oh yeah, no, that was a really yeah. It's not the same way you love shit movies. You love Halo Five because it's crap and you're like this is brilliantly um, crap. Infinity, forget that one. That was um, just. Like, yeah. To be fair, Halo did get us Cortana, which Microsoft inexplicably decided to use as a brand. That's their mascot. The Windows search engine. It's the yeah. official Windows mascot now. <laughs> Amazing. Right. Oh. Num number 22. Um, mm. We were talking about this earlier. R-Type. Mm. Um, classic 8-bit well, eight arcade game. It's really, really hard, but um, you just can't help but love it. Mm. It's got some classic moments in it I, I can always picture that end of level boss on the uh, on the first level that big sort of the dog keratops yeah whatever it's called that thing um but yeah um great ports on many systems as well i remember playing the spectrum one a lot it's, it's really good on the um uh pc engine as well isn't it mm. um, yeah uh, good port on there it is um, yeah i went into a, an import shop yeah in peterborough and up on the screen it's this r type and i'm like what the hell is playing that and the guy behind the counter who's reading the magazine didn't even look up, he just tapped the PC engine on them. <laughs> I was like, I want one of those. And he went, get in the queue. Mm. And he said, we, we can't bring them over fast enough. Had to wait six agonising weeks and the console cost me so like With our type, a ridiculous amount, something like 300 yeah, quid or yeah, so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jeez Louise. But, um, but isn't it that the, on the on the PC engine there's two R types? There's one with well, if you initially got the CD version, there's two cards or something, mm. the separate levels or something. At least like two, two parts, like so too big. Yeah, yeah, the separate levels. Yeah, the, the CD's mm. all on one. Oddly though, the American, the Turbo Graphics, it's all on one card. Okay. <laughs> so when the PC engine was new, they could they only had a certain size of card. Right. Yeah. So yeah. R type, you've got R type one and R type two. It's basically levels one yeah. to four, five to eight. Yeah. Um, but um, the CD version, it's all the same. But yeah, it brought in that more of that power up thing, all that great power up system, didn't it? Where you got that mm. orb that you fly out and all the other stuff. Um, and brutally, if you you die, you're going to lose all your power ups and then yeah, stuff starting. Yeah, you're pretty. Yeah, so, <laughs> but but abs uh, absolute classic, probably about where. That's fair. Have we about tw yeah twenty two. Yeah, yeah. Fair. yeah. Good stuff. Right. Yay. <laughs>
Yay. <laughs> 21. <Song>. Donkey Kong. <laughs> awesome game. I it had it quite tributes. hard. This is not my kind of game, naturally. Yeah, it's quite an old arcade game, yeah. isn't it? Um, introduced Mario to us, Jumpman. Mm. Jumpman. Um, but, mm. um, you know, it's it's pretty basic. But again, it's the, it's the type of game you can play. You know, and it's you can, iconic. People yeah, know it. You can play it and get really good at it. And, yeah. uh, and you know, it was a type of game where you would put a quarter in and you'd they would want you to play it for three minutes and then stop. So it's that sort of era of game. Yeah. Um, so, you know, it's not designed to go on for hours. Go on for hours yeah. But, you know, you can you know, you know, can, you can get good at it and it will loop around and, uh, and you can mm. get a high score chaser. Yeah. Who's played the game in Watch Virgin? The game Watch, yes. Yeah, yeah. I've seen Watch the game Virgin. in Watch Virgin. They never turned it on. Yeah. Okay. That is, that's a good old classic on its own. Yeah, I find game Watch games quite difficult on their own, but that's yeah. a separate question. Yeah. Oh, wait, wait, what? Oh, yeah. Number 19, are you for real? Number 20, Tomb Raider. Oh, sorry, yeah. We've got to get through that one first. Sorry, I got excited there. Yeah. It was... I'm going to unload in a minute. I got it for several <laughs> reasons. Um, visually striking Careful. main character. That's right. Actually pretty decent gameplay. Mm. Based on a grid system. This is one of the few games that my sister actually enjoyed playing. Except for the underwater bits, because then it gets all foggy. And mm. you run into a wall and that freaked her out at the time. So I had to play the underwater bits. <laughs> It was a yeah, great game. Yeah. Spawned a few sequels, a few terrible movies. Mm -hmm. Yeah, what a nice Somehow talk. Somehow it gets held up as an example of a strong female protagonist. <laughs> That's right, okay. sure is. Well, That's argue. a discussion for another day. Zone, isn't it? Yeah. I mean, she had a mansion. She did have a mansion. And a butler. Yeah. You could Who was a man? Fridge. Take that patriarchy. <laughs> <laughs> Can you have female butlers? Is it inherently yeah. a sure. job description? Why not? It's 2024. I demand was, my female butlers. It was one of the games as well that um, I had a Sega Saturn. Mm. And I had a PlayStation as well, but I got a hold of Tomb Raider. And um, liked the look of it, didn't know anything about it. Because at the time, with magazines especially, you weren't really... You got hold of the game first before it yeah. actually yeah. appeared yeah. in a magazine. So, I, I mean, it still happens now. Um, embargoes, review embargoes. I got it, bought it at home, and it was just amazing. So I was phoned up, like three friends, come around and play this mm. game. And they were just like, um, oh my God. So they went out and bought Sands mm. so they could play Tomb Raider. Poor bastards. And then trick those poor people well, in such a piece of shit. I did warn them, but I said, there's nothing else coming for it. You know. Uh, How do you feel about riding dragons and shooting things? Yeah, yeah. so of course then um, Sony came along and locked down the sequels. Yeah. And um, Smooth. You know, it's one of those games I remember having the patch for the 3DFX card on the PC, so... Oh, yeah. I did as well. Yeah, 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 yeah. On the PC, yeah. Was that any good? Yeah, it, was really, it played oh, really well on the PC, yeah. It was a whole 640 by 480, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, it was, yeah. 30 All frames that, a second. Yeah, yeah. But, but if you remember, and do you remember it was only keyboard only? They, did, they didn't put any kind of joystick <laughs> yeah, on it. Right so it's actually, yeah. really difficult to play. Yeah. Um, so you're trying to go over the, the um, platforms and kill the gorilla at the end. You get to the end and you're trying to turn around and he just goes... Bang! Punches her <laughs> off one of the spikes underneath, and it's just like. So, what do you think of Tomb Raider? I liked it. I had it on the PlayStation. Yeah, I really enjoyed it. I, I was always falling off ledges. It's a bit of a theme in me and games. What but, do you yeah. feel about Lara being a female role model? I actually quite liked it, and yeah. I, I used to try and model myself a little bit with you know proper combats with proper trousers, and uh, proper yeah. boots, guns. But yeah. <laughs> guns. <laughs> yeah. Well, you used to live in North London at the time. <laughs> Staple. <laughs> No, right. I enjoyed it. Oh, you're going to enjoy it's this me. one, Dan. This now, is you. I, 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 I do... Num number 19 is Shenmue 2. Shenmue's amazing. I think, I think it shouldn't be two. It should be one. One should be here. I don't, I don't know if one's going to come later. I very much doubt it. But for me, one's the, the better game. Um, two's uh, a larger game. Two's much larger. It's much more expansive. But I think... Two discs, isn't it? Four. Oh. Th three or four. Yeah, I can, but a lot of more. Yeah, something more than two, uh, more than Shenmue one. Um, Sometimes more is not better though. No, no. Um, obviously, got a remaster, re, sorry, a re, not a remaster, a re-release mm. on uh, the PS4 not so long ago, which I played was amazing. I haven't played three. I've owned three for about four years. I haven't played it. Apparently, it's dire, and I'm really heartbroken. But Shenmue one, jeez Louise, that 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 was ridiculous. The the F R E E system, the fully reactive eyes entertainment, where everything was. Well, everything was interactable. You know, you could go around, look in someone's drawers and play, turn the microwave on or whatever. Um, 
Yeah, the level of detail was extraordinary. Uh, yeah, Shenmue 1 absolutely to this day holds up. I love Shenmue 1. We just have a volunteer here, James. Hello, James. Hi, Hi James. Um, and I used to annoy him. He loves this series. He absolutely loves it. As you should. It's amazing. Um, I used to call Shenmue the uh, forklift truck simulator. People rag on the forklift truck, which is actually wicked fun. It's so fun. Yeah. Right on. Yeah. Oh, and people mind about the QTE. There's now Shenmue Two. Is there is there less QTE in Shenmue Two? No, there are fewer. There are fewer events. That's true. That's true. That's you're right, actually. But is there though? I can't remember. I've never played Shenmue One, so. Shenmue One. There's a lot of QTE in there. There are lots of QTEs. I actually bought Shenmue One before I ended. Dreamcast. That's what you should do. Everyone should do that. Because Walrus were like selling it for 10 quid. So I thought I'll pick that up and I'll play it later. It was the best part of the year. Stupid money. sat there for over a year. Gold mine. But Shenmue 1 was like the most expensive game ever made for a good long while. It was uh, started life as a virtual fighter RPG, didn't it? Famously. And then became Shenmue, which is amazing. It, never, it was supposed to be a 12 part saga. Shenmue 1 should be there instead. Okay, you're up. Moving on. Number 18, uh, Outrun. Yep. The original. So, we had Outrun 2, two yeah, yeah. which is better than Outrun. Discussion over. So, so get it yeah. off. Controversially, I agree. My um, <laughs> Outrun's amazing, but Outrun 2 is just so much more amazing, right? It yeah. Hurts. It's a, it, yeah, I mean, it was a fantastic game playing in the arcade, especially if you can find the big deluxe sit down mm. one. You know, you'd go and see that as an eight year old in the arcade and be like, wow, this is amazing, mm. but it cost a pound. <gasps> um, <laughs> yeah. But, uh, so, that was, that was the whole thing with it. I went down the local St. Ives midsummer, or no, midwinter fair, whatever the hell it's called, it's in October, um, mid something. Mm. And they've got all these arcade machines there, so I go in there and I've got literally one pound that my parents are giving <laughs> me. So it's like, what's this cost? One pound, shit. <laughs> right, okay. <laughs> one and done. Put yeah. one pound in and it was just awesome. At first racing game where the hills are, you're yeah, actually going yeah. up and down the hills, fast as absolute hell, but lasts about two minutes. Yeah. And then I was absolutely distraught because I just had to stand and watch other people play it. <laughs> but it's one of those ones, it's suddenly US Gold's got the license by the ZX, oh, by yes. the ZX Spectrum version. We all rushed out and we go, it. Yeah. Brilliant. Why is the road green? Oh. Why is it moving at five <laughs> miles an hour? Oh, it was shocking. Oh, I yeah. see, I only played it on oh, the I did. Had just, I never oh. had it on the Spectrum. Yeah. So the yeah. Amstrad version's worse, if oh. that's possible. Oh, yeah. I don't Oh, I've got fond memories. Yeah, you've got a tape, a separate tape with the uh, with the audio the soundtrack on it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Soundtrack. Um, yeah. Put that in your in your, in your cassette listen to on yeah your player. home hi fi yeah. while you're playing the game on the TV. Amazing. And of course, it was a multi load on the a bit as well. Yeah, so it's a little loading, like, uh, ages loading the ga- levels and stuff. So uh, oh. yeah, I was convinced when I bought my one twenty k Spectrum that I was going to load it in one go, which it did, uh-huh. and I thought it's going to be faster. Shh. No, it's not. Mm. Oh. But even systems like the Amiga did not get great ports, no. did it? Oh, okay. Um, you know, you'd think, yeah, the machine's perfectly capable of doing it, but yeah, the people who made the ports, you know. Again, Will, a couple of years later, I get my PC engine mm. outrun Tasty. in that. Oh my God, it just it absolutely good. flies. The Mega Drive version looks fantastic as well, but if you don't finish that on your first or second go, there's something really wrong with you. <laughs> it's just. There's no challenge, really, at no. all. It's um, mm, yeah, because it's I always felt that you know when we talk about Outrun two, that Outrun the original Outrun was more difficult, and you could easily oh, yeah. spend you know just get out in the first level. Whereas mm. you know, whereas with the fir- the second one, you can get through the first level or two. Yeah. You know, you might have messed it up, so you're not going to get any further, but you can easily be out on the first level on the original Outrun. Um, so yeah, more of a challenge. Number 17, Will. Metal Gear Solid. Metal oh. Gear. Well, that was a really good try. Okay, okay. Metal Gear. I've not played it, but I've got it's a good impression of it. Everybody it's else says. proper mm. good. It's very, Wasn't very... Wasn't there a few discs on the PlayStation? Two, yeah. Yeah. There's a two yeah. disc, yeah. It's very, 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 very good. That's all I've got to say about it. Um, played numerous times. I wanted to get the, the Master Collection, but apparently it's really crap, so I'll just stuck with playing the originals. Described mm. here as a cinematic experience like no other. That's fair. No, 3D, no, no rendered background, it's all 3D all real time. Uh, yeah, mm. it's staggering. Uh, ridic- again, one of those things you look at, you're like, how the bloody hell is the PlayStation doing this? Mm. And also, all, it's all rendered 3D, it's crazy. What's, it's really, what's really great about it is if you played it on the MSX, the original version, mm-hmm. 
The atmosphere is quite similar. Yeah, yeah, the atmosphere yeah. is very similar. Mm. UMSX could have done 3D though. Is it? No, it was, it was side scroll yeah. or something. It was top down. Well, yeah, kind of top down. Top down sort of. Yeah, yeah isometric. Right, okay, yeah. yeah. Um, but yeah, very also very very good. Yeah. Um, but yeah, this is this is great. Uh, I, I, I'd be interested. We've got 16 to go. I wouldn't be surprised if another one pops up. Actually, another yeah. Metal Gear Solid series um, in the series. Did they make more than one? <laughs> well, I need, I need one good one. Right, cat. Number 16, Super Mario Kart. Get out. Get right out. Why is it doing it? Kart game here, haven't we? Yeah. Let's just swap these two over. 64 should be here. Yeah. And this should be where 64 was. 64 was like 97, something crazy like that. Swap them. Because yeah. it's good. It's nowhere near as good. So like, should it be higher than 16, whichever one you choose? Ooh. Yeah. I'd be happy with 64 being 16. Do you want to hear? 64 should have been number 64. That would have been good. That's too smart. Look, you see I remember me and a friend spending a whole weekend trying to shave tenths of a second off of yeah. 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 <laughs> times on Super Mario Kart. It yeah, was me and my hard. brother played the living hell out of this. Yeah. yeah. Properly, um, properly fun, but... Man alive, 16 It's really? one of those games that when you first played it, you think, oh God, I'm not sure about this. Why, what's nah. everyone raving about? Yeah. And then you suddenly realise six and a half hours have gone by. And the music's uh, great. Yeah. So yeah. good. Yeah. So good. And spawn Bill. many follow-ups. Yeah. yeah. Oh, crikey, hasn't it just? Oof. I see, this is, this is Phil can, Phil's time to shine now. Number 15, it's Valve's Half-Life from 1998. A great year for games. Best year for games. Yes. Uh, it was one of the first games to use that sort of immersive storytelling where everything's mm. told through cutscenes that happen around you second rather one does than it better. to you. What? Second one does it better. Yeah, the second one was building on the first one's legacy. The, <laughs> not only that, but it spawned an entire section of games that were based mm. on the same technology, so Counter-Strike yeah. grew into a billion dollar franchise, Day of Defeat, Team Fortress, Probably all those sorts of things. Yeah. In fact, this game got me my first job in the software dev industry. So there was a mod called Natural Selection, mm. Aliens vs Marines, and I was doing writing server plugins as a hobby for that one. I put it on my CV and helped get me a job. Nice mm. one. So I've got a lot of fond memories of Half-Life. Amazing. It is, a, it is a stunning game. I mean, when yeah. you're trying to break out of the lab the, oh. where it's all gone horribly wrong, it and, is, um, it, then they send the military in, and the military's orders are just to slaughter everyone yeah. that's in there. Yeah. And it had such short loading times, it felt like such short loading times, it felt like one big continuous world. Mm. I thought the second half kind of might then have lost it a little bit. Yeah, yeah. yeah. that sucks. Um, Unfor it's unfortunate. It's a bad ending to a perfect game. Yeah. Yeah. Black Mesa remake on the modern Steam platform is actually pretty amazing. Well okay. worth playing. Mm. playing for. Cool. Yeah, multiple game of the year. Yeah. Absolutely wor worth it. Yeah, I'd totally. I'd 15, mm. but... Um, I think personally, both Half Life games should be okay. higher, higher than a Golden Knight, um, whatever. Oh my God! But what is higher than Half Life and Half Life Two? The ever superior Golden Eye 007 on the Nintendo oh. 64. Oh, look at look, look at that! Oh look, Pierce is tea tea bagging Gordon Freeman. <laughs> tea bagging him, Phil. What are you gonna do about it? Golden Eye gets this rating because it's like a dog that's walking its hind legs. It's not that it's done anything well, it's that it's doing it at all. Shut your whore mouth, Phil! <laughs> if it wasn't Just shut it! Before, we'd never heard of it. <laughs> I've had enough! <laughs> it's cold though, what's that say? It's amazing. It's, it's it amazing. is amazing. Yeah. I mean, not only was it a game where you were, you know, you, could, you were playing scenes from the film, mm. you know, you, you had all those locations, you had all the characters, you know, and, and also, you could unlock characters and weapons and things mm -hmm. that were from previous, mm -hmm. uh, you know, uh, James Bond films, you know, especially in multiplayer. I mean, multiplayer is where people remember it and that's yeah, where it shines. Sure. You know, if people sit there and moan about it, that all the graphics are rubbish and all that, well, go and get some friends and play Gold and Nintendo yeah. 64. Because, because, uh, <laughs> the one time I did play it, it was really being attained, but then it was like 11 o'clock at night at Butlins. We were doing that event there <laughs> and we'd all had a lot to drink. We were going to post a video of it, we woke up the next morning to find the audio didn't work. <laughs> <laughs> yes, good. That was the one where we were also tried, took our playing cards, didn't we? And I think alcohol had become involved because I think I said, welcome to Mutlins at Binehead. <laughs> <laughs> and then everyone started laughing and no one could, we just couldn't finish the video. It was just ridiculous. 
good challenge. Yeah. But yeah, yeah, no. It's, but yeah, um, like it mentions, like great modes, like paintball modes, snappers only. Um, yeah. Yeah, brought but all this stuff in. The single player game is freaking huge for the, yeah. for the game well, at the time. true as well, so yeah, yeah. Was there any level on in that game that you thought that was, that no. level? Not one. Every yeah. single level was I really mean, the picture rare. here is the train. I freaking love that level. Yeah. I didn't realize it was rare that made it. Yeah. yeah. Also, you've got to say, the frigate level. Yeah. It might amazing. as well be an SAS yeah, yeah. guy just Wicked going, fun. whipping through the ship. Yeah. And, yeah. Oh my god! Absolutely hostages, amazing. Stunning. Number thirteen is. I do love this, but Sonic the Hedgehog, the original. Weird choice. Um, it deserves to be up high. Oh, I, I, I think the whole thing was I was in a game shop in like 1991. Mm. Not before it, I think it was before it launched here, and um, I was just. I had a couple of Atari Lynx games in my hand. Yes, mm. I bought another couple. Um, Legend. Viking Child and Cybots, I think it was. Anyway, oh, and I went to buy them, and there's a, a game on the Mega Drive whipping around all over the place. And I was just like, what's that? And he goes, oh, yeah, it's uh, that's the Asian version. Uh, uh, this is a new game coming out next year, Sonic the Hedgehog. And I was just like, oh, my God, this yeah. is amazing. It's just so fast and fluid and yeah. fun. And then he gave me the joypad and... Um, I was playing it for quite some considerable time <laughs> when there was a certain somebody waiting for me down in the food hall oh. and um, he wasn't very happy mm. because uh, I didn't go down for an hour and a half. <laughs> Brilliant. <laughs> um, yeah, so... Um, I've still got the original packing Sonic the Hedgehog with mm. my first, first Mega Drive that we got when I was six years old. Oh. It was amazing. It was, like I say, one of the fastest things mm. you'd see on the demo. It's got screens that. in dicks and yeah, yeah. Nice yeah. Processing, isn't it? it's amazing. I mean, it's it's like Nintendo had Mario, mm. yeah. very like precise, short, fat plumber. <laughs> yeah. This so the game plays very very precise. Very precise. Very you. So you can just see what Sega are doing. They're just going right. Let's let's go for the mm. action factor here. And yeah. Must have sold so many consoles, must not it? Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Again, though, can't we say that they were amazing? The Sonic the trilogy are amazing. They're amazing, but. Are they different enough to warrant a possible third, three entries in one thing? I mean, that's, one that's and two I... and three are like, they're amazing. I suspect. It's not a great, oh, three won't be. Three will be at number one. <laughs> for, the, for the memories alone, I would pick the first one. Really? Okay. I, I really okay. would. It, it really kickstarted right. the entire franchise, didn't it? Yeah. So if, if they had to have, or if they had to still, if they, if, they, if they could only have one of this series in this list, you'd have the first one. Yes. I would. Yeah, okay. I would. Fair enough. All right. Yeah. Cool. All right, moving on. Right, number 12. The classic Taito mm. Space Invaders. For which I'm going to have to open a packet of Space Raiders. Space Raiders. No, that's wrong. Yeah. Who wants a packet of Space uh, Raiders? Not the gash flavour. Ooh! I think I've made enough black jets, that's for sure. Is my tongue black? <laughs> All right. That was weird. <laughs> I did not need that. <laughs> there you go, that's the Space Invaders. Yeah, that was I mean, uncanny. Not much to say about it. It's a classic game for its time. It must have made millions of dollars in the arcades must have been and you know ported to everything mm. Um, mm. yeah even even uh, corn based snacks um, yeah <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah I mean again another one of those games where we could argue that we wouldn't have so much of a video game industry if mm. it yeah so um, so yeah. also it's got the most rubbish sequel in the world and the game's exactly the same but in colour yeah um, <laughs> is it real colour or just an overlay uh, no, there was a colour one. Yeah. Okay. Moving on, number 11. <laughs> <laughs> um, number 11, Zelda, A Link to the Past. Phenomenal. Is this the third Zelda game we've had? Least. Yes. Yeah, it is, yeah. That'll be another one. Uh, phenomenal. Has anyone played this? I've played this one. Uh, it, yeah. Absolutely, absolutely ridiculous. Uh, one thing I really, it sounds weird, but I love the colour palette. Hmm. It, it's it's yeah. such a the the, the colour choice in this game is, is friggin' amazing. Yeah. It looks so good, and the soundtrack's phenomenal as well. Um, yeah, no, this is really really good. I was playing it, and I was like, oh, this, oh man, I'm at the end. I was the final boss. I've done I've done the dungeons. I've done this, and he goes, okay, now you go to the underworld, and like it flips, and it's like you got to do it all over again. It's like another eight yeah. dungeons. And you're like, oh, I did not see it coming. We're good. Another game that shamefully I left alone for a little while, mm. went back to it, I don't know what I'm doing, and stopped playing it. Yeah. I really must. Because I was loving it. Yeah, so, so good. So good. And yeah, the soundtrack is ridic. Ridic. Phil! Philip! Well, oh, get in, I get to the final ten. And yeah, here we go, see Super Mario World. 
It's another narrow one. I can't I mean, say I've ever played this, but that looks a bit no. James Pondy in the graphics oh, on the bottom. Oh, good shout. Yeah. Good shout. That's that totally does. That's a good call, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that totally does. Uh, it, well, again, flawless. It's, this is perfect Mario 2D distillation. This is, this is it. it. It didn't get any better than this. All the ones that come after, all the other 2D Mario games are as good as this. But nothing's beaten this. Mario World is ridiculous. It so is good. just... Um... The controls. So good. Yeah, tight as an MF, as the kids say. The variation in the levels as well. I just finished a ghost houses and I just oh. finished Super Mario Wonder the other the other week and it's good. This one is good. used ghost houses then. Yeah. So I played new Super Mario Brothers on the Wii. Yeah, yeah. I didn't realise that came in so late. But Mario Worlds Yeah, that's it. There's a whole another story to be told here how I stole a ten year old's um uh, well, it's like 11 o'clock, so can you come back? Can you... But yeah, we're not going to go into For patrons that, but... only, we'll make a video. Yeah. We'll recreate it using But yeah, volunteers. this was... My statute of limitations. Yeah. <laughs> I, I stayed at my I grandmother's definitely... house when this was being released because I knew if I was in Bevis and Edmonds, I had a much better chance of buying the console, which turned out to be true. Wait, there you go. But I did rob it from a uh, 10-year-old. Anyway. Anyway. It's me again. It's it, you. And it's Shenmue 1. I can't be... Now, this is dumb. It's come around again quick. This is really stupid. Like, you didn't need Shenmue 2 in here. Like, you didn't. Is it 10 I... places better than the second one? Yeah. I love it. Shenmue 1, I love I'll defend it to my dying breath. I love it. It's great. And just, just wandering around Dog and Zarka is, like, freaking amazing. It's just so good. Like, when it starts snowing, or, like, when you're, when you're walking along, all of a sudden you don't realise it, but it's, the time of day has changed. You get a little demo where, you know, the, the, the lights dim a bit, the street lights come on, they start playing the music to indicate you've shifted into evening. Frig me, it's good. Like bloody hell's too. You also get to punch a lot of people in the you face. You do get to punch people <laughs> in the face. And you spend a lot of time looking for sailors, which <laughs> I is, see. is never time wasted. Okie dokie. Number eight, Super Mario Brothers. That's what, our 45th Mario game in this, mm. this list so far? Um, yeah, okay, yeah, it's an absolute classic game. Yeah. Um, the mm, trouble mm, was, mm. by the time we got it in this country, we'd played an awful lot of um, mm. other platform games on our own beloved like 8-bit micros. It's true. And they're probably not as good as this, but... I mean, you could speed run it pretty quickly if you knew what you were doing. Mm. Is it a oh, top 100 game? Probably well, well down in the top 100. I mean, I certainly wouldn't put this before 3. No. Because that's mental talk. No, that's, um, that's weird. That and like, they're, they're leaning on the legacy angle of this too much, yeah. aren't they? It's like... Mm. Without the first one, there'd be no three. But we've talked numerous times in this about how that's been reversed for a lot of the other games in this list so far. So, weirdness. Okay. Meh. It's good. Everyone knows Mario Brothers. What's, what's it say? Mario Brothers, everyone. It's, okay. it's a good game, that. It's all right. Um. <laughs> oh, oh now. number seven. We have Elite. Um, Elite. The original Elite. Elite. This one. Just could not. Je bypass me. Tried it. Couldn't. Which system do you try it for, though? Am should represent? <laughs> Don't remember. No. I mean, I suppose would we, we agree that the BBC is the definitive yeah. original version? Oh, I actually don't. Ned. Did, did they release it on the Amstrad? Hmm? Yeah, no, yeah, 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 yeah. I must yeah. have been where I played it. Yeah. The Amstrad's, uh, it's pretty much identical to the Spectrum version, part of it's slower. Mm. But you do get the Blue yeah, Danube course. playing when you use docking computer. <laughs> um, but I love the Spectrum version for one reason, one reason only, and that's the that lovely you crunching have. laser noise when oh. you hit another ship. Uh, mm -hmm. And also it's got some brilliant missions in the Spectrum version as well. So um, you visit a planet where it's the sun's going supernova, mm. and you've got to get to the planet, rescue a whole load of people, mm. and the only way you can escape the supernova is to hit the galactic hyperdrive okay. and get mm. whoosh, taken to another galaxy. Whisk. Whisked away. That's good. And everything you knew has gone... Because you end up in the galaxy and you've got, oh god, don't know what the hell all, all these people are. Bargoids yeah. rock up. Yeah. Exactly. So, Elite I is mean, better. they call it one of the earliest sandbox games. You can be evil, you can be good. Mm, yeah, yeah. You can, um... You're a miner? A buccaneer? Yeah. Yeah. Businessman? Smuggler? Yeah. That's good stuff. Absolute classic game. Yeah. And, you know, it's one of those things where, you know, how did those two guys, Ian Bell and David Braben, get that into a, um... 32k. 32k. Yeah. It's the type of game that, you know, it's going to take you a little bit of time to get into it. Mm. But once you're there, you're there for a long time, mm. aren't you? Mm. So it's like the one of the hardest things all it is to start with is docking in the space station. Yes. Mm. Mm. <laughs> but once you've got the hang of it, mm. you, there's no stopping because you literally fly towards the planet, keep the space station on your left, 
then you just spin over to it and pretty much fly into it mm. once you once you got that down. And then, yeah, you can buy docking computers later on, but by that time, you're so good at docking, you probably don't need them. Yeah. Yeah. You needed that at the start, didn't also, you? Also, <laughs> coincidentally, that's usually always the first thing that gets destroyed in a space battle is your bloody docking, docking computer or your, or your ECM system, mm. which helps you destroy enemy missiles. But no, it's a, it's a classic game. And yeah. um, Again, it's another one of those. It's not as good on the ST and Amiga. Okay. Well, hmm. I've played it. The combat is just the same. The alien ship will fly towards you, then it'll zoom upwards, and then you just steer up after it and shoot it in the bum. And um, yeah, it's all field graphics and all the rest of it, but yeah, it's quite dull in comparison. Okay. Right, number six. Number six, Pac-Man. Waka waka. Yeah, <laughs> it's, it's an awesome game. It is awesome. Yeah, um, yeah. it's imported to everything. Yeah, but unless you were there when it was introduced, I get the impression it's all a little bit. It's a little bit like, ugh, mm. fun for a while, if you start on it now, but yeah. There's, there's yeah. other newer games around. Yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, it, yeah, it was iconic at the time for not being like a space shooter. Yeah. Mm. Um, you know, it was also credited with being more popular with women because it wasn't... Oh, because it wasn't a shoot 'em up Shooting or violent. And then you could gobble um, up the ghosts when beating them Yeah, um, People could play it for ages and ages and ages. Yeah. I mean, that, that's the rumoured why they put Miss Pac-Man out, because it was more difficult and people wouldn't spend two hours on one game and, uh, in the arcade and take your money. Um, but, yeah. Um, oh, number five, Zelda Ocarina of Time. I don't know what an ocarina is. I've never yeah. played the game. It's a flute. Oh. Or a flute. It's a little wind instrument, wind yeah. Wind instrument, yeah. yeah. It looks like that and that. It's like, like an egg with a stalk. It is, yeah. Is it a good game? And you get to play. It's like is it a good five, game? That's no, no frame of reference. Laddie, the, it's it's the it's still the best Zelda game. Deal with it. Um, it's uh, it's extraordinary because we we went from that yes. to that. So it went from top down two D, which don't get me wrong, is amazing. Fully three D immersive world, a giant expansive area, places to discover. Amazing, it amazing. Looks like it's being filmed through Vaseline. Well, that's just their crap screenshots. It doesn't look like that. It looks amazing. You can play it on the Switch right now. It's part of the online Switch online service. Uh, it doesn't. It's not a very good emulation, to be fair. Real. You really should. Yeah, but you play shit games. Um, if you want to take a break and play something good, this is where you want to. This is where you want to be. Uh, yeah, amazing. The, the modern Switch games owe its heritage to this game. Absolutely. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Would you have something like Wind Waker instead of Majora's Mask? Yeah, I would. I would because they're too similar. Ocarina and Majora's too similar. Uh, yeah, I'd, I'd like to see something. Mm. Oh, Twilight Princess, which is massively underrated. Twilight Princess is like Nintendo. They released it on the Wii. They brought it back on the Wii U, and then they've forgotten about it since then. It's like they need to bring the Twilight Princess back to the Switch because that'd be freaking amazing. We well, like you got an HD release. They did on the Wii U. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it's old Wii's have been well. Yeah, well, this remaking the same bloody game again. We'll just do it. Just keep doing it. Uh, Street Fighter 2, The World Warrior. Oh, that's all right, but Turbo's better. Um, it's an what, awesome what's, fighter. What's to say? Yeah, exactly. What's to say about Street Fighter? It's it's the pinnacle of uh, 2D brawlers. Yeah, saved uh, the arcades back in the early yeah, 90s, Yeah, absolutely revolutionary. So... Kicked off esports to some degree. Yeah. Um, is this the one that inspired the film? <laughs> Unfortunately, <laughs> yes, it is. Because that film was f***ing amazing. It was amazing. That's <laughs> fair. It was great in it. It was. Yeah. That's the best scene. It's absolutely hamming up, chewing that scenery. It was good. But, uh, yeah. but the game's amazing. Um, yeah, I got it, my uh, sixteen-year-old playing this with me the other day for the first time ever, just after awesome. Christmas, and um, he absolutely loves it. Mm. It's, it stands the test of time, and he's not into this kind of game. Oh, for at real? All. Yeah. Like, yeah, yeah anyone could enjoy this game. You, he? he absolutely would. I don't like it. He kept playing the one that does that. I can't remember. But I think my yeah. <laughs> my first experience was playing it on the snares. I think actually in the snares port. Oh yeah, good. Yeah, yeah. 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 I mean, obviously played the arcade, right? But you know, there was a few. Decent ports out there. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. Um, that was also when I realised that we were being absolutely shafted as PAL owners. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> um, when I saw Street Fighter 2 running in an import shop on an American SNES, and then I went home and looked at my one with a squashed picture and running really slowly, I was like, yeah, something's not right here, is it? Um, yeah, yeah optimise your games, you lazy. Yeah, it was didn't lazy. didn't do that annoying, until but yeah. the um, Sega Saturn PlayStation Time. Wow. Mm. Shocking. But, you know, back then you were happy to have it, whatever. Uh, back then, so, and like when you got turbo, you didn't realise because yeah. you just cracked the turbo to go, like, this, is, this is bloody fast, I like this. Yeah. This is, um, yeah. But again, 352, what, you know, yeah, amazing. Per pretty, pretty perfect. Number three. Oof, behave. 
Super Mario 64. Friggin' love this. Mm. Love, 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 love. What can you not say about... Love it. Love it. Uh, that bonkers thing they did, Nintendo did in 2021, 20, where they released that cartridge with the three games and three All-Stars. Mm. You could buy it like, for 20 minutes and they took it away. Like, complete idiots. Um, I played it again recently. Yeah, it's amazing. Super Mario, uh, yeah, again, we, we've said it before. Everyone said it before. It's, you, you know... On their first swing at making a 3D platformer, they perfected the 3D platformer. Like, it's impo like you can't even get your head around how amazing that was. Like, this, they went from zero, right? They went from zero 3D platformers to having the benchmark <laughs> for all 3D platformers ever. Uh, it's, it's ridiculously good. It's so good. And of course, the soundtrack again, Koji Kondo is a freaking genius. Dun. Full of absolute stonkers. Um, yeah, it's, you know, it, yeah, it's three, three is adequate for Mario 64. It's, yeah. uh, and also the controller. Brilliant. People yeah, criticize yeah, yeah. the controller. Yeah. Put the controller and that game together. Yeah, it makes, it makes sense. Works, it works. It? Yeah. yeah, works yeah. flawlessly. So good. Right then, in second place. Yeah, what? Second mm. place, we're down to number two. Mm. It is Doom. Well, the original it. Doom. Put a two? A second? Okay, so it should have been one, but it was a place for two friends. We don't bin. know what's number one yet. We don't. I mean, when I first, I was playing the PC that was capable of Wolfenstein, mm. and then um, again, through the wonders of my brother, where he worked at the time, he could download stuff like this. So we downloaded the shareware version of Doom, mm. Mm. and it was like um, we had to run it in a tiny window. So it was like very quickly, let's go and get a new graphics card. Yeah. <laughs> new graphics card. Oh, yeah, expanded it up. And yeah, it was, for its time, absolutely amazing. Get the old shotgun back. Yeah. And, and the game that was kind of got people from their Amigas and Atari STs onto a PC, right? Yeah. It, it really yeah. did. <laughs> yeah. It was uh, the whole thing where you complete a level and you'd, you'd have the relief that you'd fought through the level, especially if you're playing on Hurt Me Plenty or something. Mm, yeah. Um, but then you get to the end, oh, you've only killed a third of the monsters. So or, what? Um, <laughs> yeah, damn, so then you go back. Find all the secrets. Mm. Find all the secret areas, exactly, yeah. Um, it was a great step up from Wolfenstein 3D in terms of the architecture and mm. flow of the gameplay. Bang well, I mean, the track. depth of the, f the, depth of the you vision. You could have steps. Right? Yeah, yeah up the got... steps. You could see for blinking miles mm. almost. Death mm. match, mm. power. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, I didn't do any of that because our PC wasn't online. But yeah, mine was ours, but... Quite Ooh! It was installed Other on the Novel Network Network at oh, yeah. Regional College when I was doing my sitting guilds <laughs> instead of a GCSE. Amazing. Amazing. Yeah, it's alright. There's one more to go. Hit us with it, Alright, all right. let's hit That's it. Number one. Oh. Is this me? Oh, f Tetris! Oh, yeah. Tetris. <laughs> is it not? Who is it? Oh, it's him. Oh my god. Really? So did we all rush out and buy Game Boys? Yeah, no, well, I was like, I was like eight years old. Yeah, yeah, I, I did, but this was just like the bundling game. Yeah. Now, <laughs> but what a bundling game. Oh my God, you would just be, you did play it a lot. Oh, heck, it's so absolutely amazing. This is the best retro game of all time. No. Can Tetris? I think a lot of people got into it on their work PCs after hours. Yeah. Mm. Not on Game Boys necessarily. I think the only thing you can say about Tetris is it's probably universal. Any single yeah. person can play it and enjoy it. That's true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It is universal appeal. It does have that. That's fair. Yeah. Yeah. So I think probably there or thereabouts it is All right. one of the greatest. Okay. But um, I actually prefer Klax. <laughs> it's a puzzle game. On the Atari Lynx. Um, and on the Mega Drive. Yeah. Um, it is the future and there is time for clacks. No, but the, the whole fact that you went Anything down, I went down Dixon's and said, have you got one of these Game Boy things? And he gets it out and puts Tetris in it. And I'm just stood there for the next few minutes and he's talking to me and I'm just not taking in what he's listening, yeah. what he's saying. And I'm just playing my own Tetris. And then in the end, he's almost shouting at me to put it down. Look, do you <laughs> want this or not? And I'm like, hell yeah, absolutely. And that, that Game Boy is still intact in its box. Oh, nice. Um, but I mean, I mean, come on. I mean, what? could it be that it's number one here because it's kind of uncontroversial? And... Yeah, I mean, this is it. We have, we have noticed this has been a very safe list. Yeah. Like, bloody <laughs> hell. You could have got AI to no. write this. Like, this is a safe as fudge list. I am um, just going to say here, Yeah. 
unless I, I'm sure I haven't missed any, where the hell are the Neo Geo games? There's massive gaps in this top 100, enormous gaps. One of You're them being, talking yeah. about Street Fighter 2 as a seminal fighting game. What yeah. the hell about Fatal Fury? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where's Metal Slug? Yeah, where, where is Metal I thought Metal Slug was absolutely sure was going to be in here. Yeah. Uh, Metal Slug X would be in here, but it really wasn't. I'm yeah. surprised. Not a single CDI game. No, that's no. right. Where is Hotel <laughs> Murray, you fucking scrubs? Sorry, I like you. I, I like that game. <laughs> it's actually pretty fun. But, you know, you know Retro think, Gamer, what are you doing? I think they've one of the only three Breath of the Wild Zelda games I've ever played. Or Wonder of Gamelon. I'll be a brief play. Yeah. Yeah, they're not great. Where's um, Candy Crush? Oh, ew! It's no, real I'm games, aren't um, oh. games. That's fair enough, because they're crap. Um, there are some weird, weird, like, there's... Right, this is a, 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 a British publication, right? Mm. There are surprisingly few micro micro games. Yeah, I mean, there's, there's like two, one, right? One Spectrum game, I think right. Mega Miner was in there, and there's like one Commodore 64 game yeah. in there. Um, yeah, and that's true. Yeah, yeah like, I said, like there's like three. Now, right, so this this is a super safe. Where's Jetpack? Where's well, this jetpack? is it. I, I, oh I wonder. God. It's Horace. <laughs> I wonder if it's not a case of. No. No. If it's a case of, are they. This is this is this has become increasingly Americanized over the years. Mm. Um, we're seeing bad spelling and bad grammar. And the next time you say "gotten," I'm cancelling my fucking subscription. <laughs> F off with that! I'm sick of seeing that. Um, it's bad. It has got bad. Uh, so I'm not. I'm wondering if it's not a case of <laughs> we are <laughs> we are pandering to an American audience, maybe, and having all these safe console-heavy choices at the expense of missing out on a lot of stuff. I mean, yeah, there's no rare 8-bit uh, stuff. There, yeah. there's, there's no free attack attack. There's no, there's, no, there's none of that cool stuff. Night Lord, the game that made people absolutely lose their yeah. minds yeah. in 84. There is a shocking lack of, of microcomputers. Well, yeah, I mean, there. the 16-bits as well. Yeah, yeah and, and 16 bits, like Atari and Amiga, there's like two each. No Speedball 2, I've just realised. No yeah. Speedball 2. Only one football game. That's fair enough. Yeah. Fair enough. <laughs> fair enough. Well, 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 the, well, hang on. <laughs> Where's the Chaos Engine? No. Huh? I'm telling the top down shooters. Alien Breed! Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It is. There are some really weird emissions, like, and that's the only thing I can put it down to. Appeasing to um, American types. Um, which is probably fair enough. You've got to make yeah. your money somehow. Yeah. But, um. Alien Trilogy. I've got to say, I am surprised, because, like, I mean, this is supposed, these are supposed to be the, the bastions of, like, retro gaming. And, like, my mum could have made this list. You know what I mean? If you said, Mum, tell me 10 classic games, you should have gone Mario, mm. Sonic, Shenmue. That's right, Mum, say it again. Mm. Shenmue, good. Um, I, I can't but think. Any other games people would have chucked yeah. in there? Yeah, what would you have thrown in there? I would like to have a game that featured a helicopter. I like Choplift, oh. I agree. Desert Strike. Tiger Heli? Oh, Tomahawk. Some, some, sort of yeah. some sort of flight simulator. Choplifter. Game. Ooh, that's nice. The kind of genre that's not yeah. Um, Gunship 2000. Even one of the. Safer ones like Flight Simulator 2. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Can I hurl one in here? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Go on then. Tempest 2000. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. That's fair. It's phenomenal. Well, yeah. original Tempest. Any Tempest. Tempest. Yeah. yeah. There's no, 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 no but Battle Zone's not in there. There's no Star Fox. No, yeah. Weird, weird choices. Um, I've got, you've only got 100, admittedly. Um, but again, there's very few, there's very few games we've looked at and gone, that shouldn't be in there. Yeah, but we could have done less with the repeats of like... Right, we didn't yeah. need like 18 Mario games. Like, we get it. Mario 2D Mario is amazing. Like, we could have had the 64 and one of the 2D ones. I thought that would have yeah. been great, but... Uh, Ultimates. Yeah. What do you, what, Kat, what do you think about this list so far? What, what, what's your yeah, takeaway? I mean, as, as you were saying earlier, there's a lot of RPGs in here. But you see, to me, RPGs is where I've always uh. played since, okay. mm. since Mega Drive days. So, to me, this is quite a familiar list. And where quite, the you know safe as you say, where yeah. the goddamn hell is SimCity 2000? <laughs> oh yes, we all agree on SimCity. Oh, theme park, 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 theme
which was one of the biggest uh. MMORPGs, but not the one that started out the whole online RPG. Three Resi games. Two outruns. And I, and I, 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 forget, I, I love Shenmue. Yeah, exactly that's what I'm saying. Like, I love Shenmue 1 and 2. It doesn't need to be both in here. Just, they, were, they were released as a single pack. So do that. So I'll oh, show me one and two. <laughs> Go in there. They're going to share a spot. <laughs> yeah. And you could take that and you could put, say, I don't know, Ed the Duck on the Amstrad CPC in its place at number 19. Yeah. And the app. They Except split that in. How about there. Project Gotham Racing? Yeah, again. There's so, there's so, there's so many things we could have done. Um, more Dreamcast. Where's Echo? God damn it. I love e- Echo was also just too scary a game to be in this list. <laughs> <laughs> So, so um. good. But like the Dreamcast, had, had the, was there any Dreamcast games in here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Jet Set Radio was in there. Oh, Jet Set Radio, sorry, yeah, it was. Yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay. And they did say at the beginning, your favourite games might not be in there, but we hope you enjoy going through the list. Yeah. Enjoy this. We've enjoyed the discussion. This tepid peppermint wonderland of retro <laughs> games has been. It's been alright. No, no X Wing versus TIE Fighter or. No, that's another weird yeah. thing. No Space Combat, no Wing Commander, oh. nothing. If you're going to have a Doom no. type game as well. Yeah, where is it? Say it. Doom 2. Where the hell is Dark Forces? Yeah, get been off Doom 2. Jedi Dark Knight Forces Dark Forces, Forces 2. Okay. Which I think is still. Still pretty good. Really, well, it's got to be before 2007. Yeah, for sure it was. For sure it was, um, yeah. That is an absolutely excellent game and it's expansion Mysteries of the Sith. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, All right. Uh, meh. Yeah. Is that all so, we've got to say? Uh, uh, well, I think yeah. we've pretty much... I think we've discussed it. I mean, we, we, we it's all right. It's all right. But uh, like I said, you, you could ask anyone and they'd, they'd come up with this. You'd think that they'd be like, you'd see something vaguely obscure. Yeah. Like, if, what this is, the top 100 popular games that your mum has heard of. Agree? Well, disagree? What that, do you yeah. think? Uh, but I, I, you think from the bastions of retro mm-hmm. games, there'd be something. No denture to go. Get in the bin. <laughs> Um, you think they limited at games that more than five people played? <laughs> Why not? But like, yeah, you'd think there'd be something. We know all it. We've played ninety-five percent of these games. Between us, we played them all. But I'd like to have looked at them and gone, "Oh, I hadn't heard of X." Mm. You know what I mean? Like, you know, that's something I had maybe hadn't heard of, or something was a bit, you know, off the beaten path. But it's still an amazing game in its own right and worthy of being in the hundred greatest retro games. Something that isn't as so brazen as as and cookie cutter as the ones in here. Like from Retro Gamer, you'd think there'd be something. But yeah, I don't know. Maybe, just, maybe I'm just expecting too much. So, we would just like to end this by saying that our opinions are our own. And, uh, but correct. And basically, <laughs> from my own point of view here, I'd just like to end this by saying no Neo Geo. How would you like to? <laughs> I was expecting a bit more on that. <laughs> what would your top three be? If you're going to do your own 100 list, what was your top three of your top three games of all time? Half-Life and Sonic are up there. So the one I'd have to think about. Half-Life, Sonic, we're going to come back to you. Okay, uh, for me, Metroid Prime, Sid Metroid, Ocarina of Time. Boy! For me, Flawless. Half-Life 2, Jetpack. Oof. I've never stopped playing Jetpack. It's so good. And then, um, so good, perfect arcade. Game. And then SimCity 2000. <laughs> I've played that for years. Not Hero, what are you doing? Uh, Oh, God almighty, there's Hero as well. Oh, he's Hero. <laughs> Top Sorry. four. Sorry. So I don't, I don't, one, Hero. I don't want to influence your uh, personal um, list there. Well, no, those those three would be, because I've, I've played SimCity 2000 for literally years. No, nice. Um, yeah, fair play. Um, yeah, sounds good. Yeah, I love that game, SimCity building, yeah. building a city up and then yeah. watching an alien trash. Oh, I join you by putting Jetpack in my top three as well. Mm-hmm. Um, well, I'd put Mario Kart in there, probably put the original one in there, um, just because the amount of time I've played that. Okay. Um, I don't know about three. Okay. Um, there's loads of choices, right. um, but uh, I particularly like um, Gyrus. Um, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, as a uh, yeah, as, a, as an arcade shooter. Um, yeah, let's go with that. Sounds good. I absolutely loved uh, Boston Move Four. Throughout Sweet. university, I was that was always my chill out game. <laughs> <laughs> um, I really loved. Um, Theme Hospital, Bloaty Head, mm. you know, the invisible people loved it. I like the humour of that. Um, and what would be my third one? Oh, God, I don't know. I, I liked some quite quirky things like Dundara and like Slain. Like mm-hmm. Those kind of games on the Amstrad. So, yeah, there's, there's a bit of a mix there. Which wouldn't have got anywhere near this list. No. Mm. Sadly. Uh, Tom, our 
famously handsome cameraman. Just shout out Will Relay for you. What, what, what would your top three be? Dungeon Keeper. Dungeon, Dungeon Keeper. Keeper. Oh, yeah. God, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's solid. Yeah. Speedball 2, Half-Life. Three best games ever made. Okay. Half-Life, Speedball 2, sorry. Dungeon, Mask, Dungeon Keeper Christ. Uh, wow, Speedball 2, Half-Life. Yeah. Fair. I think that's a fair, fair, fair set. Uh, Lucas, do yours now with some layover graphics or something. No, that's it, Lucas. Get it right. Sorry? Yeah, I thought, I thought my third one. I have go with Repton just because it, I think, inspired one of the games that nice. got, I played mm. when I was very young on my dad's work laptop, which was Superplex. Oh, amazing. Repton's amazing. I have eaten too many blackjacks. Oh. I think I've had way too much sugar. <laughs> so now, it's pretty late. We need to wrap this up.